My name is Vidi and I'm a third year student studying biomedical engineering. I've been working as an engineering support student for two semesters and I will be a tour guide for today. I'm standing outside of the ITLL, which stands for the Integrated Teaching and Learning Laboratory. Our mission is to provide curriculum and support hands-on engineering education across all engineering disciplines. Follow me inside so I can give you a tour. This is one of the three card swipe entrances around the building. The ITLL is normally open until 5 p.m. and in order to receive after hours access, you'll need to complete this tour. So let's get started. One of my favorite parts about the building are all of our interactive models. They're located all throughout the building and they're so fun to play with. We're currently on level 1B, so let's head up to level 1. This is a launch point where all of our engineering support students live. Like you, we are all engineering students. We can support with 3D printing, laser cutters, or questions you may have about circuitry or computer-aided design. We also have tools such as drills, dremels, hand tools, and so much more available for checkout. We do have engineers throughout the building, but ESS are your first stop for any questions, so come by and say hi. Down this hall, we have 10 study rooms. Each room is equipped with whiteboards and a computer. Four of our bigger study rooms are also equipped with a projector that can be used. The study rooms can be reserved for a two hour time slot on a sign up sheet that is posted on the doors every Sunday. Follow me down to the electronic centers. To my left is the Electronic Center, which houses our engineers, Tim and Rachel. Tim runs the Electronic Center and is an expert in circuitry and electronics. Rachel is an expert in 3D printing, CAD, and material testing. To my right is the Electronics Fabrication Center, which houses our engineers, Lauren and Kai. Lauren runs the Electronics Fabrication Center and is an expert in anything PCB related. Kai is the Assistant Director of the ITLL and can help with any questions you may have about the building. Hi, my name is Tim May. I'm the Electronic Center Manager at the Integrated Teaching and Learning Lab at the College Engineering CU Boulder. The Electronic Center is a place for any engineering student throughout their career at CU to learn how to use equipment. Uh, I teach them how to design, test, troubleshoot, and build circuits for their projects. I act as a mentor to help fill in the gaps with their knowledge and uh, provide the skills they need with the projects throughout the courses here. Uh, we teach workshops. We teach an in intro to circuits workshop and intro to soldering workshop. Welcome to CU Boulder. Hello, my name is Lauren Darling and I'm an engineer for the ITL program. We're standing in the Electronics Fabrication Center, which is one of our many facilities here at the ITL program, but we focus on the uh, design and creation of electronic uh, prototypes. So we can make printed circuit boards, we also offer workshops to help you learn how to design printed circuit boards, and then you can print them in-house. Everything from generating it from bare copper, all the way to assembly, testing, and verification. This facility has industry-grade Metcal irons and rework equipment, as well as inspection scopes and desktop testing equipment. 
Additionally, we teach the Arduino Educational Workshop Series here using the Arduino Uno and have all of the equipment necessary to learn that platform. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the electronic centers. Follow me back to the launch point to continue our tour. The building was designed so engineers could learn from it. As you can see, we have exposed rebar, wire, and HVAC system throughout the building, as well as interactive models. Down here, we have an airplane wing that helps students visualize the use of trusses. Behind me are our first year projects rooms. Let's go ahead and head inside. This is room 160 and next door is room 150. These classrooms were specifically made for the use of first year students to design their project. I had to design an interactive weather station for my first year projects and spent most of my time in this room. The room is available for anyone to use as long as there is no class in session, but we do ask that priority is given to first year students. These classes also have TAs who can give technical support and their office hours will be posted outside of the classroom. Before we start this part of the tour, I do want to mention that our bathrooms are located in the same place on every single floor. We get a lot of questions about it. To my left is our sewing station. We have two sewing machines and no workshop is needed to use them, but we do offer one if you are interested in learning how to use them. Down here is my favorite part, the wall of awesome. We have eight 3D printers and a workshop is needed in order to gain access to them. We do sell filament at the launch point, but you can learn all about that during the workshop. Due to COVID-19, we will temporarily have four printers here and six in the study rooms to adhere to social distancing rules. Follow me down to level 1B. These are our HD 3D printers. We have a March Forged Object Pro and Form 3. These printers are run by our engineering support students in the evenings and you pay per print. These are useful for final models and functional prototypes where you may need precision tolerance parts and robust mechanical properties. Over here is a Project Depot. The Project Depot is where you'll find any tools or parts that you may need for a project. Almost everything in this room has been used in a previous project, so make sure you're returning stuff so other students can use it in the future. Mo and Anne are the two engineers that live here. Mo is extremely helpful with Arduino, prototyping, and system design. He's also a physicist, so any engineering concepts with science and physics that you may have questions with, he's your guy. Anne has an expertise in laser cutting and data acquisition equipment. The Project Depot location has changed temporarily due to COVID-19 and is now located upstairs next to the launch point in one of the study rooms. Follow me over here to the Lab Plaza. This is the 1B lab station. Every computer is equipped with all the software necessary to complete your engineering lab work, such as SolidWorks, LabVIEW, or MATLAB. Additionally, they have electric diagnostic equipment, including power supply, multimeter, waveform generators, etc. You're welcome to use these stations when classes aren't running. No food or drink are allowed at the computers, but we do have breakout rooms available where you can eat. Let's head down to the 2B level. I do want to quickly mention that we have campus run printers on this floor, so feel free to use them whenever you need to. Welcome to level 2B. To my left, we have an eye wash station in case of any emergencies. In here, we have our downstairs bay. This is where you'll find teach engineering. Also note, this is not a room for project storage. 
In here, we have our fume hood. So if you're working on anything that produces fumes, make sure you're using this room. We also have 3D scanners, but you'll need to take a workshop in order to use them. I once had a friend who 3D scanned all of our ears and 3D printed them for a project. Follow me down this way. This is our 2B lab station. It's the same setup as the one upstairs, so if that one's ever full, you can always come down here to do your work. This is one of our soldering stations. We also have fully equipped soldering stations upstairs in the one level in our electronic centers. They also offer workshops if you need them. In here is our laser cutters. laser cutter room where we have two laser cutters slash engravers. You will need to take a workshop in order to use them. And we do not sell material, but we do have scrap material underneath the laser cutters, so feel free to use that. This is where you'll find IT services. They're here to help you with any issues that you may have with our lab stations. Just a quick note, they are not the same as the campus IT services, so they will not help you with any issues on your personal computers. This is a manufacturing center. You will need to take a safety orientation before entering. Our engineers, Mark and Cameron, are here to assist you. Mark is going to go ahead and give you a tour. My name is Mark Eaton, and I manage this shop along with Cameron Meach and seven qualified student staffers. Let's take a look around the shop. It's comprised of two separate areas. This is our material test room. We have universal test machines for tension and compression. If you're interested in material testing, you can sign up for a workshop. Let's head back upstairs for the end of our tour. This is the front desk. This is where you can come to ask any questions or report any issues about the building. I wanna go ahead and end our tour in front of this plaque. This plaque emphasizes that this building was created for hands-on learning. As engineers, it is essential to our success that we have an environment where we can practice our skills. The ITLL provides a place for us to do just that. Thank you for touring the ITLL. Have a great day. Skull buffs.